Hello everybody, thanks for stopping back by. I want to do a really, really quick video on three types of people to avoid while you're prepping for whatever you're prepping for, whether that's should hit the fan or whatever. Um, three types of people really quickly. One would be a bragger. They're coming to you or to other people bragging about what they have, what they've stored, how much silver they got, how much food they got, where their bug out locations are. It's probably the type of person you want to avoid telling them anything about yourself. Now you might not want to omit a relationship altogether with these people, but be very careful what you share with these people. If they don't value the safety of themselves or understand and respect what they got to other people, what makes you think they're going to respect your secrecy? So there, there's one group of people I would definitely uh, be careful about sharing your opinions or your or what you've stacked up, you know, what you saved, your food, your guns, your your silver. Now, it's one thing me talking to you like I am right now. It's just on YouTube. You don't know who I am. Every now and then, I share my first name, but that's all you know about me. You know I'm in, in the Arizona area, Tucson. You know I have a place maybe up north in northern Arizona, but that's all you know about me. And these videos are not me bragging. They're more of motivational videos to get other people on board. The more people that are prepared, the better off everybody will be. If your neighbor's preparing and so are you, it'll be easier on you. You got two neighbors on both sides who are prepared, it'll be easier on you also, because they won't be coming over to your place mooching or trying to steal from you. So that's why I do the videos, it's not to brag. So avoid the braggers. They don't respect their own secrecy, they're not gonna respect or understand yours. Uh, the second type of person, and I think we've all run into this, this type of person, this person fantasizes, romanticizes about being in a war some type. We've all seen these type of people. They're going to get you in trouble. Now I'm not saying omit all relationships with these types of people because they come in different shapes and sizes so to speak. Normally they're not as big as they're bragging to be nor are they equipped to perform what they're bragging they like to be or like to do. And I got people who who think they're gonna go up against the US Army. Are you flipping kidding me? They got missiles that can surgically remove your ass if they wanted to. And you're gonna be bragging how you're gonna go up against the US military. These are not the type of people you should be associating yourselves with because they're going to get you in some type of trouble. Normally, they're the person who is sticking out their chest the biggest and they're going to attract violence. And you're going to normally have to defend this person, this small person of a man. Me? I don't like freaking people who walk around like they're all Billy Badasses fantasizing that they're going to kill this person and that person. For all you veterans out there who had to take a life, I'll openly admit it because I don't want to take any credit from you. I've never had the unfortunate task of taking a life. And nor will I lie and say I have. But I'm going to maybe jump the boat a little bit here and say one of the reasons I don't fantasize about killing somebody I would imagine it is a stain it is a filth that you can never wash off your body no matter how many showers you take and I know a few people who have taken a few lives 
they're not happy with themselves, a lot of them. They're very uh, depressed, they're very saddened, and they're, they're just not quite the same as they went into the military. I wouldn't want to take on that burden. So I don't fantasize or romanticize about taking anybody's life. Um, the type of people I hang out with, I'll tell you who I hang out with, intelligent people, humble people. Do not misunderstand humble for weakness. I don't like hanging out with groups of guys who are loud and boisterous and throwing beer bottles. We're quiet, we're humble, and we take care of business when we need to take care of business. Those are the type of people I prefer to hang around with. They're normally the most reliable type of people to hang around with. The last type of person I want to talk about is the needy type of person. The person who is addicted to help. No matter what day you talk to them, you're always needing some kind of help. And they always have an excuse why they need help. You can bail them out and give them all the money in the world to get them out of the situation that they're complaining that got them into the situation, and the next day they'll be in a brand new situation. A lot of these people are on welfare right now. Not that I have anything against people who occasionally need help. These are the type of people are, who are consumers they will offer nothing of substance to your family or community of preppers. They will just use up your resources and due to their inability to provide or work, they are above reproach. You cannot criticize these people. They are um, oblivious to learning and following direction. And that's why a lot of them don't work. Those are the three type of people that I would avoid, and normally do avoid. That last type of person, I don't get along with that last type of person. There are other people that you're going to run into, but each person is a separate variable, and you're going to have to judge them as such, weigh out the cost, you know, positives and negatives. Everybody's Nobody's perfect. If you're looking for perfection, you'll never find that person. Everybody has a flaw. So um, those are the three groups I wanted to talk about. Those are the braggers. They don't have enough common sense to keep their mouth shut. People who romanticize, fantasize about shit hit the fan situation, going to war, killing people, beating up people. Normally, they're not going to be able to hold their own in a real in a real situation and obviously the moochers the users the people who are addicted to help and always will need help anyway give me a thumbs up thank you for um viewing this video and thank you for subscribing for those of you who have who have subscribed take care